Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory Oceans at half past eight in the morning. <laughs> Why? Ah. Uh, why not? <laughs> Rune Factory. When did I last record? Well, uh, I I do remember where I left off, sort of. I'd finally cleared the flame spirit shrine, and I remember saying, "So like, I'm not freaking doing any more recording for this until at least November." And it's the 11th of November, so it's been nearly a full month. Let me just. You know what? I'm gonna check that actually. I wrote out a schedule for the remainder of the year because I was like, for planning the New Year montage. Let me see. Uh, and part 54 would be the last upload for this LP by the end of the year, according to my current schedule here but I might alter the schedule and like take a day off in between simply because the schedule I've got written down would have it so like you know once every two days would ultimately lead to an upload being yeah an upload being on Christmas day and I'd rather not you know upload on Christmas because it's freaking Christmas man a day off Remember to upload a video. And I didn't have ones for the 31st of December on upload. Oh, funny enough, it's actually part 54 would be uploaded on Christmas if I don't alter the schedule. So part 54, regardless of how I alter the... Because uh, if I change it, like take a day off in between and have it, say, be uploaded the day after Christmas... That would make... Well, either way it goes, it looks like the fifth, 54th part will be the final upload for the year. So let me check what part are we on currently. Because I'll be recording even further in advance, simply because I thought I like playing the year. Uh, 52 is the last upload. I mean, not that, but upload the uh, previous recording. So... There'd be at least two parts. So that since I record two parts per session usually, I mean this record session will be the not necessarily the final record session of the year, because I'll probably do more than one other recording for this at some point, but you get the idea. So uh despite what I said, uh where did I leave off? What are the controls? I forget. So it's a holiday, meaning everyone's just going to have a weird schedule because it's a holiday. Wait, that must have been from the uh, boss fight. Well, not a boss fight, but after the boss fight. So confusing. <laughs> I mean that this is why I don't want to have like too wide a gap between recording, you know. It's hot out. It's cause it's just like but not only would I be like, where do I last leave off, but it'd also be like, uh, what were the controls again? Mm, what a nice aroma. Was, this is one of those games where if you don't play it for a long time, you kind of forget how the Hello. controls work a bit. Oh. <laughs> I did it right there! Uh... Yeah, I thought Makoto was here, but I guess not. 
I was like pressing the uh, I thought I was playing a PS4 and I was like that uh, what even is that big ass square shit button in the middle even called? Because I was like recently playing Resident Evil 7 a while back and that's the menu to get the map I mean the button to get the map up. I was just going for like uh, well some of the trophies and I also played End of Zoe for the first time and I didn't complete it because I rage quit that uh, final boss because it was too frustrating and I was like fuck this shit. Gotta say though, Joe's character is pretty amusing though. <laughs> He's just like, out of my way you fat fuck! Or you know, come on you moldy motherfucker! Good morning, you two. Oh, what a lovely bracelet. Did you make it sell? Morning. So that giant golem belongs to you. How about that? I've said this before. Good morning. I wonder what we'll be having for lunch. It's so fun to think about. Lovely day, it looks pretty grey. Kind of rhymes. Talking about in the real world here, of course, right now. Just a bland looking day. Much like any other day. Of course. Yeah, and another thing, the New Year Montage thing. I mean, that's the reason I wrote out a schedule. And I've, like, started, like, adding more to the Room Factory Oceans part of the montage video. And, my god, it's just gonna be the most lengthiest. I mean, you can't even call it a montage. Especially the past couple of years where it's been over an hour each, but this one definitely gonna go over an hour. The Rune Factory Oceans have like barely even started, really, and it's already at 10 minutes, so I'm gonna have to trim some of it down. It's like I just want to have it so that the new montage shows like the bits of like the plot, the introductions to each character, and you know at least some clip from each character, uh, you know, uh, friendship events, and, you know, a bit in between, like, you know, battling one of the giant monsters, fighting some monsters, so a bit of the shrines and all that, you know, stuff like that, and it just ends up taking up so much time. It's ridiculous. Why do I do this all the time? Like, it's just like, it's just ridiculous. Oh, you are hard at work this morning. Excellent. Having spent so long as a statue, you have set eggs and pains. What are you waiting for? Massage me, asshole! I have to get ready to cook soon. That's why you're going to the freaking beach <laughs> to cook. What? Like cook yourself in the sun? <laughs> no. You guys must be morning people. Says the person who at six in the morning goes to the freaking beach and gets into a swimsuit. You seem like an awfully much, a very much a morning person, although probably not really. Because probably just gonna go to sleep after like she's like I'm just gonna go to the beach stare at the ocean and I'm going to bed because I'll be up all night Elena. so what's going on with Echo's upgrade oh yeah I remember that in the previous part uh, we got that random scene where they were like did a wake up call didn't they and I think Elena just slept in, in the bed 
Uh, but I'm not sure if we really had any mention of Echo's upgrade, but we did give it a baby ball now. I ran into some difficulties. I haven't found a way to extract power from the red core officially. Kind of stuck. I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds like a pain. It is, but I love what I do, so don't worry about me. I'll let you know when I get it figured out. Just give me a little time. In the meantime, go complete requests or something, probably. Good morning to the both of you. A bit of a good day. There is a saying that goes, the art of war is the art of peace. Sounds contradictory, doesn't it? Uh, what does that mean? Instead, the job of war is not to hurt people, but to protect them. I strive to be mindful of that at all times. So the art of war is the art of peace. That's... Try, trying to think how that would make any sense in my mind. Morning! Morning there! Let's have a great day! Uh... No, it just it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, you know, at the end of, you know, a war, there is peace for a time until the next one comes around, <laughs> essentially, isn't it? That's not really uh, peace. I'm trying art of war, art of peace. I mean, it could discourage war with peace, but that doesn't make war, art of war being the art of peace. Unless the art of war in this case is to resolve things peacefully, but that doesn't... I don't know. <laughs> you like the ocean or the mountains better, Dean? That's right, you know where it's at, Dean. There's not even any mountains in this game, it's only four. Good morning. Good morning, you two. I'm up and away from Venom Island, but I was winning. It's getting up to and all that shit. All days I'm out there hopjacking on here and jumping all that shit. Yeah. yeah, so I'm pretty busy, you know. That's why I spend all my time at the beach, because I'm a busy man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have your friendship event on. Good morning. It's so lovely to be surrounded by all of this nature. I really love this island. Where's your French vent, though? Oh my! You've come to see little old me again, have you? Thank you very much. Hey! I'm so grateful to my husband and children. Always let me pursue my interests like this. Wait. I already did that? I didn't realize. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, I remember now. I don't remember what the event was, but I remember that Hello. it happened in the previous part of the part before it. Hey, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? That's how young folk ought to be! <laughs> it's been doing this twice a life, we already did once of these, I'll be good to try on your nuts. Yeah, that brings me on to a thought I've had, because it was just like... Watching, you know, videos on YouTube and, you know, browsing through the comment sections on YouTube sometimes and, you know, shit like that just makes me wonder, is the world just filled with drunks and potheads? Because that's... that seems to be all you ever hear. It's like, I am having a pint of drink or whatever. Well, no one ever says that. I am a pint while well, watching. Video. But you know, it's always like, oh yeah, they're blazing it while watching the video, and it's like, is everyone a pot head or something? I've been on watch. Morning. Hope it's a good day. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great as usual. Of course. We're neighbors now. I hope we'll be really good neighbors. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's so nice to play with us. Good morning. My sister jumped into a puddle on a rainy day. <laughs> Mother Gerard got really mad at her for it. Hey! 
guys to give me a big round shot. But I... It makes no sense that we can go through the door one way but not the other because it's locked until like nine. Who am they talk to? I'm talk to Lily and uh, uh, Bismarck and Gerard. Those are the only two I'm talking to. Morning routine takes a lot of time, you know. Good morning. What a lovely morning. Well, if it isn't the Dean and Sandra, do you have a move to chat? We have another friend of the bench. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, good. <laughs> because, you know, now we, <laughs> now we won't have to walk far to uh, talk to Gerard and Bismarck. I cooked some, would you please try it? Again? <laughs> I'll be okay this time, I promise. I made ordinary rice balls following a death's recipe. Freaking giant ass rice ball. Well, if it's just rice balls, I guess it should be okay, right? And anyway, why is it called a rice ball? It's not even round! Uh, hey, you're not the one who has to eat it. The size of it, the size of his head. It went through his head. Spicy. Oh, my. oh no, I was so sure this time. But it didn't lose consciousness this time. That's progress. Oh. Well, that's nice of you to say, though it's not exactly the golden review, I was hoping for. <laughs> you can imagine that you like go to a restaurant or something, it's like. Hey, you've improved a bit, at least I didn't pass out this time by like that. It still tasted freaking awful, but at least I didn't get KO'd by it. <laughs> but in that case, you'd be like, no, you'd prefer to be KO'd by it than have to deal with the taste. Lily, do you even taste your cooking? These rice balls are way too spicy. Huh? Taste it? Oh, I totally forgot. Next time I'll be sure to. <laughs> now what? Well, I demand to craft the materials. Oh yeah, we still got that. You're searching for a pot. Uh, oh yeah, and I didn't end up, uh, despite what I said in the previous record session, I think it was. I didn't look it up at all. Like, where you can find items or anything. Didn't bother. So, I still have no idea where I'm gonna get that insect jaw. Probably, maybe. I don't know. Good. Good morning. Maybe the Beatles, but I really don't know. Gemini's Yellow Store is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays. I have a sister myself or a Miss Lecture there. Yeah, drop in and die. Though it's a bit worrying how often my sister plays okay for a movie at the store. I do hope you'll have a good day. Oh my! I do like the sun, but I can see that my skin likes it. Yeah, and it's interesting thing about it. Without the sun, there would be no life. But the sun can also take life. Quite easily. Well, well yeah, it would. I mean, it's just like, the Earth is just at the right distance from the Sun that it's not deadly to us. But it can be, if you're like exposed to too much of the Sun now, you know, protecting yourself a bit.
You know what I'm gonna do? Let me see. Let's see. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Nah, I'm too. I'm too picky. It's just like I was about to be like, okay, we'll send the orc archer back to. You know what? Fuck it. I'll be late. Uh, okay. And we will go back here. You're like, hey, I, I, I was on that island for the longest time, and now you bring me back to the bar. The because it's just too tedious a task to constantly have to. All this old ropes. They really should uh so you can put uh, more than five monsters on an island. Cause it's kind of a pain in the ass. And the monster barn gets filled up a lot now. And there's only four islands in the air. Each now I'm only allowed five monsters per island. Kind of a pain in the ass, but what was that? Giant Goober? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Spinach! I don't know why, but just just how the last thing I said, and then there was like uh, a long pause between me talking again, just one spinach, and then dead. long silence. <laughs> I don't know why I can say that. Anything else to grow? I don't think so. We could probably knock them trees down and get that oak. Long by now, obviously, but I just got the honest. I bet we'll have some crops that will harvest. Well, do minerals count as crops? Hey. Iron! Gotta think of it, I did uh, brush the archer, right? I can't remember. <laughs> like, every monster must, you know, get the brush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forget me, of course. So on this fairly uneventful part, aside from Lily's uh, friendship events, the only thing to do now is to head back into the flames for his shrine for the billionth time. Not to clear it, because we've already cleared it, but to, you know, try to get that freaking insect jaw. I mean, we'll also get some experience in as well, so that'd be nice.
Let's take a uh, fan with us as well. And just gotta be sure that we, you know, can find the right floor. It's a lot darker in here because the fire's been extinguished because of the masked man. Who's the masked man? Who the fuck cares? The plot's so slow, you'd probably forget he was even big by the time we see you next. Weren't these usually grey? How come they turn blue? I wonder if there's a chance of finding the insect joy in one of those. That'd be nice. But it looks unlikely, it looks like it spawns the same shit. Where are the, uh... Beatles at? I don't care about no stinking trolls. Beatles? A scorpion in my drone. Ow, jackass. No trolls allowed. Very inefficient. Ow. Fuck off, trolls. Poisons. And they're not dropping the freaking jaws. Drop jaws, you jackass! By the way, I'm not being completely unobservant here. I do know that poison here. <laughs> this time I'm trying to walk off. <laughs> Okay, enough walk now. Let's see. Sadly, we did not heal in the time span to not get destroyed now. Fuck you! Sp 
Bam, that square ball. <laughs> Drop something. Solid point. Solid point. Not what I'm looking for at all. Disappoints. Monsters. Hi. Mm. I want my insect joy, you motherfuckers. What do we got? Fire crystal, that toxin. You destroyed my monsters, bitch. You're not gonna drop an insect jaw, but I don't care. It was just for the experience at this point. Did I just see that? What's up with this? Interesting. Ow. Gonna be chaotic. Ow. You destroyed oh fuck. That's a predicament. Question is, will potions suck again? Nope. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. You guys. Yeah. Fuck you! Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh shit! Oh my God, really? Fucking hell! They gang up on you, man. It's horrible. And I didn't get my fucking insect jaw. I'm tired of fucking, you know, doing this shit. I'm freaking googling it. Where the fuck can you find an insect jaw? This is ridiculous. Oh, of course, when I put room for Aqua Oceans, it's like, no. And then if I type in Tides of Destiny, you get a result instantly. It's like, freaking American title. Right. Blah 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 blah. Ants drop insect jaws. Any other ones? Because one did mention the beetle in that forum there. Ants, beetles, and bees. But mostly ants. I hope I don't have to travel all the way back to freaking. Well. Uh, 
Why am I, why am I even looking at that map? That map is so good. Let me just go on second so we can look at the map here a second. Lane Spirit Shrine and the Air Spirit Shrine is somewhere else. I forget. Over here. I mean, it put us closer to uh, Fetif Island, which is good because, you know, Elena will probably be like, hey, bring Echo back to the island, damn it. And we can get our freaking. Uh, Battle fire ants there, because I'm not sure if the fire ants are, for whatever reason, in the Flintsbridge Shrine. I definitely recall seeing them in the Earth Spirit Shrine, though. Actually. It's hot out. Let me check. I mean, it's not going to have information of, like, when we befriended Killer. Oh, wait, no, I remember now. It was on. On the island where we found uh, Pandora. So, yeah, that wouldn't do at all. Well, I guess it could go there, but they're quite high level, you know? I don't know why I just did that again! It's like, if I'm gonna look at the sea charts, I've gotta be on Echo for that. Pandora's thing, where we found her. I mean, it doesn't help that they don't have names for these locations. I think it might have been this one over there. But you know what I'll do for this part? I'll record a part immediately after. And we will make our way back to... Fenif Islands. After the, you know, usual morning routine, we will travel far across the ocean just to freaking find an ant. Saying that, maybe the desert island, but I would just have to go in further north and it would still take a long time anyway. Tedious task. But anyways, we'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.